Well, when we excavate the site, we do it in a very controlled manner. We want to make sure to take the site apart in uh, packages, you might say, in small parts that are about the same amount every time. And we call these levels. We excavate 10 centimeters of thickness at a time within a one meter by one meter square. So we will trowel away 10 centimeters of sediment at a time from, and that's about four inches or so. We want to do an interval kind of excavation because we want to be able to separate out each part of the site from each other to talk about the youngest part of the site versus the oldest part of the site. And by slicing the site up into different levels, we can separate out the artifacts and talk about change in people's behavior, the things that they're doing, the things that they're eating, the tools they're making, in a very standardized way. I think we got a big piece of uh, chert, big chert flake here. Um, that would have been struck off a big uh, core in the making stone tools. Um, so this would have been uh, part of a bigger piece that they struck off here and then this fell to the ground and along with all these other pieces. As we go downward, downward, downward through different levels, we make sure to keep that material separate. We can organize all that data about what we're finding in each level and then go back and talk about how the site is changing through time and what's really different about one time period versus another. If we were just to come in here and dig a big hole and get all the artifacts out, it'd be hard to organize what's happening in terms of people doing things through time. 